This is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, we are here at CES 2018 and this is going to be one of the biggest things that everyone wants this year. And that is we are here with Synaptics and their partner Vivo, who has the first phone with a fingerprint scanner embedded into the screen. So it's really nice in terms of just holding your finger down and unlocking it. It's pretty quick too. I will say you have to hold it for a bit longer than I'm typically used to, but it's just really nice for a prototype that it already works this well. And it's simple and easy just to be able to go right away. And I really like it just because of the fact that it's embedded into the screen and when it works, it works very well. So again, I've been playing around with it and you have to keep in mind this is a prototype and when it works again, it just works very well. This is my idea of the perfect screen. Forget all those other reviewers that say, oh, the fingerprint on the, scan on the back is where it's supposed to go. No, it's supposed to go on the front, so when you have it on a flat surface, you can still unlock it. Also, forget Face ID, it's honestly a non-starter because I want to be able to unlock it without looking at it. That's the whole point of the best kind of security with the perfect convenience. This is a great start, and I honestly hope it comes to every major flagship this year. It's amazing that Synaptics has gotten this down to this good of a level, and hopefully we really get to see it from a lot of smartphones this year. But Vivo, it has done an amazing job getting the first one. All right, guys, make sure to stay tuned to all of our coverage here at CES 2018. Thank you, as always, for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.